Hi, I'm Gaten Judd, guitarist based in London, and I'm currently here at the Marshall Studios. I'm currently playing the Origin 50, which I've been playing over for the last four years or so. Yeah, I used that at Glastonbury. It was great. Glastonbury was amazing. Great experience. Um, third time playing there. My second time using the combo at Glastonbury, because first time was 2019 with Ray Black. Um, so obviously this year was with Burner Boy on the other stage, just before the headline act as well. So that was great. Um, yeah, Glastonbury was amazing. Since like the pandemic when things started reopening, Burner was just on the go, go, go. We, we started doing festivals around Europe. We did O2, which was great. We played Hollywood Bowl. That was amazing in LA. Um, and then I've also been playing with Sam Henshaw, great friend of mine. So balancing the both is so hard um, because Sam is like family to me. And Berno as well is like, he's a great guy. And obviously it's like bigger venues and, you know, headline slots at festivals. So it's just nice playing for both because it's kind of, it brings me back down to earth, especially like playing for Sam because it's more like smaller venues, um, but more intimate venues, which I love, um, which is with arenas, you don't really get that. But with saying that we did a show for Berno for his um, album launch in Prism in Kingston. And that was literally like, I can say 800 people. That was so much fun. And that showed me how much I really miss playing intimate stuff. But I'm always still grateful getting to play arenas around the world, playing huge festivals, being on the main stage as well. It's, it's a great feeling. There was three venues that I had on my list. It was Oto Arena, Madison Square Gardens, and Arco Arena in Paris. And I've been able to do all three with Berna in under a year. MSG was just amazing. I remember crying when we got into we got into the arena, and one of my good friends from the band, Jermaine, he was like trying to hold me. I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Just walking in and just seeing like, you know, all the amazing artists that have played there, being backstage, and just being like, wow, like playing guitar in my room at the age of 16, not knowing that one day I'd eventually like get here that was like monumental and also because of Berno being the first African artist to play at MSG it was history it wasn't just like I was just playing for like an artist that's been there already before it was like nah this is history forever so it's something I can never forget so I'm grateful for the opportunity. So when I first joined Marshall in 2018, I wanted to get an amp that I could get a nice clean sound because most of the gigs that I do, they're not very heavy distorted or heavy crunched. So it's about finding a fine line of finding an amp that will suit for a clean sound and also for a crunch. So when Marshall first introduced me to this amp, I literally plugged in through straight away and fell in love with it. The clean sound from these original videos, it, it literally sounds great. My dad played guitar around the house when I was growing up. There was amps everywhere, guitars everywhere. And just hearing him play is what inspired me to play guitar. So my dad is definitely number one. Uh, Rob Geringer, Freaky Rob. I don't think he has no idea how much he changed my life because uh, there was one stage in life I didn't want to play guitar anymore. And one of my friends sent me a Kendrick Lamar set and I was like, who's this guitarist? He's playing like if he's been playing for all his life. And he was like, yeah, he's like 18. I'm like, 18 and you're playing like that? Nah. And I got to see him at the O2 in 2018 and that just changed my whole perspective and it just gave me more confidence in myself. Um, John Mayer, um, big influence since I was young. Eric Wars, that's pretty much it. Like everyone else, I love it, but I don't like saying names for the sake of saying names. Those are like just the three people that really come to mind um, that really have helped me. Marshall means a lot to me because when I first was looking into Marshall before I got endorsed by them, it was more like I didn't see much representation in terms of 
I just knew that it was a rock type of thing. Like when someone tells me Marshall, that was the first that came to mind, rock, heavy metal. Um, but then seeing a lot of black um, American musicians using Marshall, it made me think like, oh, maybe I might need to step into this a bit and give it a go. So Marshall have been great to me. Um, they've been fantastic. I've never had any issues with them at all. The whole team's been amazing and um, they just sound great. They sound good and I can only speak good things for them. And if you haven't tried a Marshall, check it out. It's not just rock, <laughs> trust me.